Hey, Jamie. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? You all right? <laughs> what you got that dumb look on your face for? Oh, man, he always looks like that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Are you sick? You hurt him? Did some tragedy happen in your family? Then what's going on? I know what it is. I'm glad somebody does. He's in love. <laughs> in love? Oh, man, what you going to do something stupid like that for? Gates! What's her name? Shelly. Shelly? No, 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 no. Shelly. That's what I see. No, 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 Gates. Oh. Shelly. Oh. All right, Jamie, give us the scoop on Shelly. How did you meet her? What's her background? Is she a believer? And where does she work? Well, Gates, give him a chance to answer. She works downtown at a bank across the street from Mr. Wheeler's office. Well, that's where Joanna used to work. And she's beautiful. How'd you meet her? I stopped by to talk to Mr. Wheeler, and when I came out of the office building, we kind of ran into each other. She had seen the show last week and said she loved the guy that did the comedy routine. I said, humbly, I was the guy. We started talking, and we really connected. It is awesome. Wow. I never thought it would happen to me, but I gotta admit, it's love at first sight. She's a Christian. We have everything in common. We talked for hours. Right there outside Mr. Willow's office? No, no, no. We talked there for maybe an hour. I met her last night for dinner, and we just talked and talked and talked. Yeah, they just talked and talked and talked. Would you guys stop it? This is very romantic. Yeah. She loves Jesus and, well, you know. Double well. But you just met her. I know, and she's perfect for me. Yeah, Gates, you can learn a lot about someone when you just talk and talk and talk. Tell us more. We're gonna go to lunch today and dinner tonight and just do some more talking. I am in heaven. Well, Jamie, this is some very exciting news. Yeah, man, when's the wedding? Come on, you guys, this is really special. I can't wait for the day I meet Mr. Perfect. Uh, Andy, uh, you already met him, but um, I'm happily married. <laughs> you know, I've always felt like it could happen like this. Just a normal day, going about your daily routine, and then you meet the person of your dreams. You're not looking for it, you're not expecting it, you're not trying to control it. And then God allows love to come into your life. Jamie, is she really special? She's really special. I cannot stop thinking about her. I'm so happy for you. I hope it all works out for the best. Thanks. I wish I could explain it better, but I've never felt this way before. I feel wonderful. I'm excited for you. Me too. Me too. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Yeah. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Gates? Well, Gates what? Are you going to congratulate your friend? Yeah. I'm glad you found somebody you like. And uh, better than that, I'm glad you found somebody that likes you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's how this goes. You'll be driving a car, and I'll be standing on the side of the street at a crosswalk. And this will be, like, outside here, downtown. You won't be paying attention, and your car will start to go across the white line and almost hit me. Okay. And? And that's the end of the scene. Okay. Sounds good. But what's the point? I know it doesn't sound like anything yet, but that's because I haven't told you what it's about. Okay. But I don't understand. Did you want to bring a car in here? I was hoping we could. Have you run it past Rudy? 
No, not yet. Yeah, I would check with him first. Oh, I will, but this is going to work for our theme. No, I don't doubt that. It's just, how are we going to get a car in here? Mm -hmm. We're going to pray one in. Okay, man, what's this routine about? I'll tell you in a minute. What are you doing? Looking for props that we don't have. So now we're going to a ball game or something? Yeah. I've got a routine about three guys who are going to watch a football game on a Saturday afternoon. One of them is a Christian. Two of them are not. Okay, so what's your idea? Well, first off, I've written this to where it takes place in three parts. Three parts? Yeah. The first part takes place early in the first quarter. The second part takes place early in the third quarter. And then the third part takes place at the end of the game. Oh. So, uh, what role do I play? You play the role of one of the loudmouth non-believers. Not that you are a loudmouth or anything. Uh-huh. And I play the other loudmouth, and Jamie plays the Christian. Now, how come he gets to play the Christian? Because in this routine, the two loud mouths have the most lines. And I figure with the way things have been going for Mr. Lovestruck, <laughs> I wasn't sure how many lines the boy could handle. Okay, everybody, ready to go? We're ready. Where's Jamie? Uh, who? Jamie, you know, the tall one with the funny walk. Sorry, Rudy, but we don't ever see anybody like that anymore. Oh, come on, where's Mr. Valentine? I think he's with Mrs. Valentine. Well, we can't do this routine without Jamie. You got any idea where he's at? I have a hunch. Yeah, he's 57 minutes late getting back from lunch. Well, you know how it is when they just talk and talk and talk. Yeah, and I believe they've been talking more and more each day because yesterday he was 43 minutes late. The day before, he was 27 minutes late. Yeah, well, I'm getting worried about that boy. Why is that? Well, I think he might really be in love. It's not like him to be late. He's usually on time. Well, you know, love has a way of changing a lot of things. Sorry I'm late, you guys. Late? What do you mean, late? You're not late. Yeah, late for what? Gates, do you know what he's talking about? I haven't the slightest idea. Rudy, do you? I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> you guys are something. I know I'm late and I am sorry. <laughs> it's just 57, no, 58 minutes. We thought it would be at least an hour. Yeah, we all know what it's like to be in love. Do you? Do you really? Absolutely. When you're in love, you keep your buddies waiting for 58 minutes to work on a routine. I'm sorry, I really am. It's all right. We understand. Okay, here I am ready to go. What do we have here? Well, we've changed the routine up since yesterday. You now have only one line and it comes at the end. Guess what you say. What? Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> it's true, check it out. What? Get out of here. Yeah, but it's just the first part, Jamie. You're in the second. And the third. There's three parts to this? Three parts. And that's what we want to work on today, assuming Miss Shelley can survive without you for a few precious moments. Yeah, I've got the rest of the day. I'm not going to see her till 7 tonight. Without her? So long? Oh, my, oh, Jamie, how can you stand it? I, I can't take it. Shelley. Shelley. Get out of here, you guys. Travis, I promise you, brother, by the time I get here tomorrow morning, I will have all those lines memorized for that routine. Don't worry about it, Gates. I know you've got a lot of lines, but you'll get them. Besides, you're doing fine. You know, you did a good job writing that routine. I think it's going to play well. But there is one part that I'm having trouble with, though. Oh, yeah? What's that? Well, it's not actually a part. It's all those lines that Jamie has to remember. I was thinking the same thing. You know, I'm a little worried about that myself. Do you think he can learn the one line for Act 1? That one I think he's got, but what about the two lines in Act 2? Jamie, I think you should go straight home and study your line. Are you guys enjoying yourselves? As a matter of fact, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have all of my lines memorized by the time I walk through this door tomorrow morning. 
I've got all your lines memorized. You don't have but three? In Act 1 and Act 2, what about Act 3? Oh, I forgot about Act 3. Let's see, how many do you have? A dozen. Twenty-four to be exact. I'm surprised he knows that. I showed the script to Shelley today at lunch and she counted them for me. You know what, Gates? If Jamie does have trouble remembering his lines, we can always get Shelley to do the routine in the show. Get out of here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Car. Yeah. A full-size car. Yes, what kind of car do you think I meant? I don't know, a matchbox. Uh, I mean, you're never gonna get a full-size car on this stage. Are you sure? I need a car to do this scene, Rudy. I'm sorry, Andy. But the big door backstage is wide enough for me to drive my car in here. How are you gonna get it through that door? Oh, I never thought of that. Well, you'd have to tear down the whole backstage wall. Can we? <laughs> Andy. Look, I'm sure it's a great idea, but we just need to think of something else. But I think it'll really work for the theme we're doing. I'm not saying you have to can the whole thing, but maybe just approach it differently. Okay. I'll work on it. Have you and Rudy talked about how we're going to do this football game scene? I mean, do you know how this is going to be set? Yes and no. <laughs> what do you mean, yes and no? Yes, I've talked to Rudy about it, and no, we don't know how we're going to set it. <laughs> Well, well, maybe we could stand there and pretend we're in bleachers. No, no, no. We need to try and make it look like bleachers. And how are we going to do that? I don't know. <laughs> First, Andy wants to put a car on stage, and now you want to build bleachers. I didn't say I wanted to build bleachers. Yes, you did. I did not. You just said you wanted bleachers. I said we need to make it look like bleachers. That's not saying I want to build bleachers. Oh, right. I just don't want to be standing on stage. We need to be standing on something that looks like we're in bleachers. After all, this is a football game. <laughs> yep. Rah, rah. Go team. OK, Andy, let's see what you got. Well, I've been working on my scene, and I think I've got a way to do it without using a car. Oh, great. Yeah, so now I just need to get a dog. OK, I think we could probably manage that all right. But it's not a regular dog. What do you mean? I need a seeing eye dog. A seeing eye dog? Yeah. Do you know where we can get a seeing eye dog? Uh, well, we could probably manage a German Shepherd if that would work. It might, but he really needs to act like a seeing eye dog. I need one that's trained and knows what he's doing. Hmm. I don't know. Um, why don't you show me what you got and I'll see if I can help. Okay, but promise me you'll tell me if you don't think it's gonna work. Scout's on her. Okay, here's the idea. So when do we get to meet her? Meet who? Mrs. Martin, who do you think? You mean your mind was on something else and you weren't thinking about Shelly? Actually, I was. I was just thinking about how cute she is. She's got long red hair, real pretty smile. She is beautiful. So when do we get to meet her? Soon, real soon. Well, maybe we can all go to lunch together today. Yeah, now that's a good idea. Uh, actually, guys, I have a special lunch planned with her today. Oh, so you're saying we can't come along? Sorry, Gates. That's okay, Gates. That's okay. See, we can't take a three-hour lunch break. We got routines to do. Yeah, somebody's got to do this show this week. So, Jamie, when it's most convenient for you and your schedule, why don't you set aside a time for us to meet Miss Shelley? Yeah, it would be nice to meet the bride before she actually becomes the bride. <laughs> you guys are too much. I will try to set up something soon. Okay, well, let's get to working on this routine then. Yeah, because we need to go in and see how many of Jamie's lines in Act 3 we need to cut out. <laughs> Do you have any idea where I could find one? No, I already tried them. Okay, well, thanks for your time. Bye. Hey, Andy. Hey. What's up? I'm looking for a place where I can get a seeing eye dog. A seeing eye dog? Yeah, I need one for my scene. Hmm, that might be tough. What about a vet? Have you called them to see if they might be able to help you out? I've already tried that. I called two of them and neither one could help me. Hmm. Do you know anyone who's blind? No. Do you? Mm -mm. Oh. No. First you need a car and now a seeing eye dog? What's this scene about? You'll see, you'll see. Wow. It might be hard to get a seeing eye dog. Maybe you could use a German Shepherd or a lab and pretend it's a seeing eye dog. 
Do you know anyone who has one of those dogs? No. How about you? No. Hmm. Well, I'll keep working on it. So, I mean, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news here, but I don't think we're going to be able to get a seeing eye dog in here for you. But my scene, I need a car, a seeing eye dog, or it just doesn't work. I understand that, but look, we've called around. Nobody has one available we can use. Yeah, I know. No, no, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we can. What do you mean? Maybe we can just create the impression that we have a car or seeing eye dog. I mean, it's what we do in most of our shows anyway. What if you're going to tell the story from a different perspective? Rudy, you're not making a lot of sense here. No, I think this can work. What can work? You were going to tell the story from the perspective of the blind man, right? Right. Well, what if you told it from the perspective of the driver? And then we just use narration and voiceover and we can create some visuals to go along with it. Okay, but I don't really understand. Okay, well, let me explain. Hey, Travis. What you got there? I just picked up a few items at the store. What's this? What does it look like? Well, it looks like something that you would see at a car dealership. And it also looks like something that you'd see at a ball game or some outdoor sporting event. I got an idea of how I can use them. <laughs> Gray paint? Maroon paint? What are these for? What do you think? Are we gonna paint something? Very good, little Johnny. You get an A+. Plus. Well, what are we gonna paint? Oh, we're gonna paint a grandstand. What grandstand? The one we're gonna build out on our stage. We're gonna build a grandstand on the stage? That don't make it like it's gonna be 10 stories high. It's probably gonna be about three rows and about eight feet long. This is what it's gonna look like. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it'll give the idea of being at a ball game. And at the same time, it'll be something that we can all move on and off the stage pretty easily. Whatever you say, you're the set builder. Yeah. Now all we have to do is get Mr. Goo Goo Eyes away from his wife-to-be so that he can learn some lines. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, neither do I, but that has to happen. How come? Because I went back and reworked some of the scripts and uh, added a lot of his lines that we had taken out. We had taken out so many that the story <laughs> wasn't a story anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. Instead of it being three guys at a game, it was getting to be two guys at a game and some unknown fan popping in with a line or two. <laughs> You got it. Hey, guys. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Joanna. Seen Jamie? Jamie who? Our Jamie, that's who. Do you know where he is? Well, we don't know where he is, but we know who he's with. Yeah, Jamie's into these long lunch hours these days. But I got what looks to be like some fan mail for him. Fan mail? Well, that must be for me. Sorry, Gates. It says Jamie Martin on it. Oh, well, it must be from his mother. Jamie doesn't have any fans. <laughs> Actually, it's from somebody named Shelley. Can you believe that? They see each other for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and now she's sending him letters. Probably sends him email, too. What are you guys talking about? Uh, Jamie's new girlfriend. Uh, Jamie's new wife. I didn't know about this. Joanna, you've got to keep your ear a little closer to the ground. He met her last week, and by next week, They'll be engaged. Yeah, he's with her right now. He used to go to lunch with the guys, but uh, women have a way of changing things. She works at the bank where you used to work. Shelly? What's your last name? Well, it's gonna be Martin pretty soon, I think. He never said. That guy is with her morning, noon, and night. He takes her to breakfast before she goes to work. They meet for lunch, they get together for dinner. I'm surprised he's not broke by now. He definitely got bit by the love bug. He seems really happy. Yeah, we're supposed to go to lunch with him soon and meet the future Mrs. Martin. I just hope we get to meet her before she becomes Mrs. Martin. Is he that crazy about her? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's crazy, all right. There was only one Shelly that worked at the bank while I was there, but it can't be her. Why? Oh, it can't be. I shouldn't have said anything. Well, how old is the Shelly you know? Late 20s. Does she have long red hair? Yeah, she does, and a really pretty smile. Well, that's her then. Jamie was telling us about her red hair. Yeah, and he also said she had a very pretty smile. And her name is Shelly? Yeah, Shelly. Why, Joanna, what's wrong? No, it can't be. Can't be what? It can't be the Shelly I'm thinking of. 
Joanna, there can't be that many Shelleys in her mid-twenties with red hair and work at a bank. It's got to be her. No, it can't be. There's got to be some mistake. Why? What's wrong? If it's the Shelley I'm thinking of, she's married. 